Hi, Booktube. It's Gina. Happy Thursday. I am going to do a tag today. I saw this tag on Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot channel, and this tag is right up my alley because it's all about beautiful books. And if you've watched my channel at all, you know that I'm very into the aesthetic of the book as an object. I just, I love the way books look, the way they feel, the way they look on my shelves. And so I really wanted to do this tag just so I could, I could kind of talk about some of my beautiful books because I do really, really love the appeal of the physical book. Now, I read a lot on my Kindle. A lot of these books, I'll be honest, I will probably never actually read the physical copy of. I may have a problem. I really like, I like the reading experience on my Kindle, but I like the book experience um, on like the paper book. So I do both and I'm trying to get, get not let myself get into the habit of just reading on my Kindle because I don't want to, to never read a paper book again. I try to read, uh, paper books when I'm not in bed or not in a situation where I have a hard time like holding it up. So when I'm sitting on my couch or something, I do, I do still want to be in the habit of reading paper books, but, um, but I just wanted to show you some of these because they're, they're absolutely beautiful. So I will link Sandy's channel down below. Sandy's got a wonderful channel. She is a prolific reader, a smart reader. She talks about books in such an intelligent way that if you have not already, you should check out her channel. And then I'm going to tag my book friend, Jack, at Spread Book Joy. Jack may have already done this tag, but Jack tagged me in the S tag, and I'm gonna do that tag, but I wanted to do this one today uh, just because I was feeling like I, I needed some, some book love. So if you have not checked out Jack's channel, Jack is a delight. She reads a lot of children's literature, and I feel like she's got a beautiful English accent. She's She's in a in a cozy house in, I'm not sure if she's in England, I think she is, but um, Jack is a wonderful booktuber and I really, really love her channel. So I'm going to link her, her big down below as well. Uh, so let's get started. The uh, prompt number one is a book you bought primarily or completely because of the cover. And for that one, I'm going to go with Popiso by Leon Ross. Now I've shown you this book before. I bought this one I saw it on Steve Donahue's channel. Um, it's a new release from 2021. I don't generally read a lot of new releases, but he gave this one, uh, it sounds like a thumbs up. So I thought, look at that cover. I really just, I, I fell in love with the cover of this one. This does actually remind me too that I'm gonna probably get to this one in November. I don't really have any, um, any TBR for November other than one book that I'm gonna buddy read, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I think I'm going to read this one in November because it's been, I bought it a couple months ago and I really, really want to read it. It sounds fantastic, but look at that cover. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, prompt number two is a book you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. And there's so many, but for this one, I'm actually going to go with the Folio Society edition of the Lord of the Rings. It's a three box set. It's this beautiful, beautiful set. It's like over $200. So I'm never, ever going to buy it, but it's beautiful. And I, I that is, is uh, definitely something that I've, I've had my eyeball on, but I just, I can't spend that much money on, on a, a book that I know I will never actually read because I've got that on my Kindle and I've got several paperback editions that I also really love to read. So that one is is definitely a, uh, a wish list. Um, my favorite, uh, prompt number three is your favorite series design. And I've got two for this. I, I These two, and I'm actually sensing a theme here. Um, the first one is Mistborn. This is the first, The Final Empire. It's the first in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. And, and look at that cover. Isn't that just 
gorgeous. It's sort of hard to see, but this is actually uh, Ven, who is flying and um, the evil dark, oh, I forgot what he's called, um, but the bad guy <laughs> down here. Um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful cover. And then I also grabbed this one by Robin Hobb, the um, Ship of Destiny, which is in the the Mad Ship trilogy, which is part of her larger trilogy of the Realm of the Elderlings. But look at this. I just realized as I held all three of these up that I might have a thing for <laughs> purple books because look at how pretty those look. I have had times in my life when I have organized my bookshelves by color specifically for that reason because when they're like this they just look so pretty but I've got too many authors now like this Miss Reed and Rosamond Pilcher that I just don't I can't separate them so I can't really and my Jane Austens and and Victorians up here I just can't separate them out um, by color so maybe I'll do one of my shelves by color again at some point for some of these um kind of one-offs um, okay, prompt number four, dust jacket, a book with a beautiful just dust jacket or something unexpected. And I'm going to stick with a Victorian theme for Victober and go with this really pretty edition, this Grosset and Dunlap edition of Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's a little bit glary, but under the cover, I love these Grosset um, and Dunlap editions. They've got these really pretty spines and pretty book covers and then really fun kid decorative end papers. Um, prompt number five, a, a beautiful naked hardback with no dust jacket. And you guys are gonna laugh at me. So for this one, I'm gonna go with S. This is um, sort of a book within a book. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's in a slipcase and it's got this um, sticker closing it off. Inside of this book, there is a whole bunch of ephemera and this has got a library sticker on it. I So here's the funny thing about this one, you guys. It's... Um, it's by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst, the, the book. It's a, inside of this, though, is a book by V.M. Straka. That's the author on this actual book. Um, but this is a whole sort of book within a book. But I cannot tear myself. I can't make myself tear the, the sticker off. So this is, I can't read this one. I'm going to have to buy a used copy that is already torn open because I just, Look how beautiful this is. I cannot make myself tear the sticker. So this one, I mean, is this not ridiculous? I've got this beautiful book, but I can't make myself open it because of the sticker. I got problems. Um, okay, um, prop number six is a beautiful paperback. And for this, I'm going to go with a novel bookstore by Lawrence Cosse. It's translated from French in one of these beautiful Europa editions. And isn't that, I love these Europa, Europa editions. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love this cover. And I really loved this book too. Um, it was a really interesting and, and wonderful read. I loved it. Um, about a bookstore that uh, the the author it's a little bit of a mystery a little bit of, of some some mystery thrown in but the uh, the um the bookstore owner decides to just do literary books because they are really annoyed by all the trash out there um which makes for a very very interesting conversation about books in this book um but it's it's a wonderful book um, prompt number seven is a nonfiction book with a lovely cover. Now this cover, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit rogue here and I'm going to do Einstein, the biography by Walter Isaacson. I have when I, I loved this book, um, big chunker. I love this book itself. I bought this, um, um, was a gift. I was a book shopping with a, a very dear 
relative who is no longer with us and she bought this for me down in uh, Newport Beach, California. So I love the, this actual book, but look at this. I have totally got a book crush on Albert Einstein when I, when I read it and then saw that cover. I just think he is so cute. And don't you just like love that face? I, I love the cover of this book. So it's, it's not beautiful in like the sense of the word beautiful, like Popisho or some of those, the other books, but I just, I love, I love, love, love this cover and this, this face. Um, okay, prompt number eight is a book with great end papers. And for this, I'm gonna go with, I've got a few of these beautiful gray Persephone editions. Isn't, isn't that just simple? and pretty but when you open this book up you guys they all have different end papers and they all have a bookmark that matches the end papers and this is actually a separate cover so the paper rack has got a cover and then it's got these um separate dust jackets which i just think are so pretty but i mean that look at that isn't that just gorgeous and prompt number nine is for Spine, a book that looks just as gorgeous spine out as it does face out. And for this one, I'm gonna go for this beautiful folio edition of Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's got the Folio Society um, box. And then look at the spine on that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this edition. I think I've showed you this before. It's got the most beautiful illustrations. And I have not yet read this book. I have not read Knots and Crosses, but it is, this might be another one that I try to pick up in November because it's one that's been on my TBR for a while that I really, really, really want to get to. Um, this was just a, a new edition published in 2021 by the Folio Society. And I just, oh, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that is the book design tag. Thank you for watching and indulging me and in talking about some of these beautiful books that I just absolutely adore. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.